What's going on? How y'all doing tonight? That football game tonight was crazy. Did you see that game? Week 14. Playing Baltimore, Cleveland. Now, all those people down playing Lamar Jackson. That's a beast there. That guy, that's why he's MVP. I don't know too many guys. I'm really hard-pressed to think of a guy past or present that could do what he did. And like I always say, if he ever gets any weapons with his with his wheels, watch out. He showed tonight. Coming out of the locker room, you know, not since Willis Reed, Paul Pierce, you know, that's that kind of like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. And they pull him out of a wheelchair to say, uh-oh, getting his Paul Pierce on. But he, yeah, he came through. I mean, that was a big game. Baker Mayfield played really good, but... Neither one of these teams got much on the defensive side. It was just like last one with the Rock wins. And Cleveland was impressive. They've come up a long way. They're not going to be a doormat team. But Baltimore, man, they're going to be a handful in the postseason. Lamar Jackson, that's, that's that man, you know. Elsewhere, go back to last Thursday, New England, the Rams. It's time for Cam Newton to hang it up. It's a wrap. And the Patriots, it's over. And they done. The Rams look good, but if you can contain Cam, pretty much, I mean, you know, Belichick and ran out of tricks, it's over. My Buffalo Bills beat Pittsburgh, big win for the Bills, big statement game, another big win, Josh Allen look good, Stephon Diggs was balling, the Bills defense, and they were running with Moss and Singletary looking good, got a chance to keep getting better and better with each week. That fluky game in Arizona seems like a thing of the past. They're looking like they're on a mission. So, Bills keep going and they can beat Denver. They clinch the playoffs. They clinch the AFC East. They got a good chance. Watch out. Kansas City had what I call a day in the palm trees in Miami, but they still won. Kansas City, only Patrick Mahomes could be ordinary and still look great, and yet they were kind of sloppy, but they beat Miami. And they 12 one Say what you want to say. They still top dog. They are the champs, and it's hard to beat them. Elsewhere, Dallas beat Cincinnati, and who cares? Andy Dalton going back home. Somebody had to win that game. Jalen Hurd looked good for Philly against New Orleans. He played really good. It'd be hard-pressed to see Carson Wentz getting that job back. I think Jalen Hurd, that's his job for keeps. Carson Wentz ain't been felt by the Eagles, I can tell you. Nick Foles, Jalen Hurd, I'm seeing it. Spark, momentum. It may even keep Doug Peterson his job, and I still think he's cornball. Chicago Bears beat up on Houston, beat them doorknobs off of Khalil Mack. Deshaun Watson had been playing really hot and well lately, but Chicago's defense showed up. She, see, that's the, the Bears have one of the best defenses in all the NFL. Just got them generic quarterbacks. When they play like that, they look like some. Elsewhere, um, Chargers beat the Falcons. Last second field goal. Jason Her- Herbert came back. They won. Tampa Bay beat Minnesota. Tom Brady. They didn't have a lot of time position, but they did enough to beat Minnesota. And Minnesota got stuck with old Poochie kicker, so that was pretty bad. But Tampa Bay won the game. So Tampa Bay, I said who won that game. Keep your eye on them in the playoffs. Big win. Seattle beat the Jets. Who doesn't beat the Jets? That's like, oh, well. Arizona beat the Giants. Kyle Murray regrouped. Daniel Jones. Good thing Eli Manning ain't playing because something about that Giants defense. If they had a quarterback who kind of knew what he was doing, they could be a problem. Green Bay won again. Aaron Rodgers put up more numbers as usual. Another win. Um, Beat Detroit. Matthew Stafford, I think, got hurt. Um, Colts. Spanked on the Raiders. The Raiders ain't got no defense. And I just don't trust David Carr or Chucky Gruden. I think it's an overrated mirage. Nothing special. They are good window dress. Maybe 8 and 18. 9 and 7 maybe. Just not enough depth. They're they missing that thing. It shows. Um, Colts are very. Keep your eye on the Colts. It might be the third or fourth best team in the AFC. Could be a problem. Keep your eyes on them. One of my sleeper teams. Tennessee won. Derrick Henry looked like himself again. And they're dangerous when they play against certain type of teams. They, they're one of those teams. You know, they're right where they are. Denver beat Carolina. Denver had a quarterback. They could be a problem. That's the biggest thing right there. Because their their defense has been playing pretty good ball all year. So. 
Um, basically, and yeah, uh, that's week 14 overview. There's a lot of movement. Some pretenders, and you can see some contenders, but that's pretty much it. But that game tonight being the game of the year. <laughs> Baltimore, Cleveland, that was a heavyweight fight. But Lamar Jackson, he know how to seal the deal. Don't sleep on him and don't call him a one-trick pony. That <clears throat> that dude, <laughs> he still he still can bring it. He still could be a problem. If you ever figure out the postseason, they ever get him a real receiver, watch out. That's my thoughts and takes about Week 14 NFL. Give me your thoughts and takes. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And uh, this football season has been really, really wild. I'm out. Peace.